It's Sunday, and I'm in the stage room. Um, we got in late last night. We had an event. We did um, an award show. Uh, it was really great. Went off without a hitch. Uh, would have liked to have um, been able to have a little more pre-planning because that's what we do. I like to do technical walkthroughs, but kind of being able just to get there and kind of figure out what was going on and what was needed at the last minute. I think we definitely did a good job. <laughs> I always worry about stuff like that because this particular war show was like two and a half hours away from our studios. So when you get there and you're missing something, or you go, oh, I didn't know we needed this. Because you weren't able to do a walkthrough beforehand. That could be a problem. I mean, like you just get in the car and travel two hours and that's four hours. Two hours back and two hours there. Anyway, so now we're getting ready. Uh, we have to fly out for Detroit on Tuesday at flight leaves at five in the morning. You have to be at the airport at three because you have to take off your shoes, strip down, uh, totally naked, and go through his x-ray. <laughs> Just playing, hopefully it's not that bad. But the biggest issue for us right now is logistics. So what I've got to do is today, now that we've got that event kind of gone and wrapped up, the award show, now I've got to see what equipment we're going to take how it's gonna be packed, make sure we got everything, because once we are on the East Coast, we cannot say, oh, I forgot this. Either you gotta try and buy it, or you, you just do it out it. Because you can't just say, I'm gonna fly back to California real quick, get this and come back. I'm not in a position like that yet. But one of the biggest issues is we are about two hours away from our departing airport. I can't fly there, I'm not leaving my car in a parking lot for a week, just now. You're like, oh, David, just catch your Lyft or Uber. There's no Lyft or Uber in our area. There literally is nobody in here. I went to the Lyft site, the app, everything. Nobody does Uber or Lyft in this area. Oh, David, get an airport shuttle. Called three different companies that said they service this area. To take us from here to our departing airport, would be the minimum was 800 one way. The average rate was a thousand. Say what? So there'll be a thousand dollars to get driven from where we are at our studios to the airport and a thousand dollars back. So um, it's one of those things where I, sometimes they say, you know, I gotta put it in God's hands, but you have trouble holding on. You're like, okay, God, can you help me? Can you help me? Let's work together on this. I relate this where I need to give it to God and go, I need to figure out how we're gonna get to the airport. Because, yeah. And I really need to have like a, a big, maybe a van or something because even just, even if I go down and say, okay, I'm just gonna leave the car there. Just pray that it doesn't get broken into or something. The problem becomes, can I fit our equipment in there? Which means I gotta go back and make sure I streamline. I know I gotta take lights. Taking at least four, five cameras. Gotta take sound. Gotta take headsets and gotta take clothing. First world problems, right? <laughs> so, uh, that's what I'll be figuring out today. Today is Sunday, and this is how business works.